I know you're near. I feel your presence. Allura! Someone calls. Lotor? Allura. You've come. Always they appeared. Always they appeared to keep me from her. <laughs> I'm cursed. Even in my dreams, ogre guards protect her. But I won't give up. Sire, Princess Corral arrives. King Zarkon greets Princess Corral of Demos. What is this? A surprise, my son. Princess Corral will be your bride. We'll unite Demos and Doom. Allura? You must forget Allura. The interests of the Empire prevail. Hmm. She will soon learn our language and take note. She is shy and pretty. You behave with disrespect. And why not? You don't respect my feelings in this. Stop whining. You have no feelings. You're an instrument of evil as I've raised you to be. Father, Corral is an alien. She'll be unhappy. If I can wed Allura, you'll have Aris and all that you desire. Give me one more chance, Father. Fool, this marriage will unite the two most evil forces of the universe. The beauty of it. Our power will be supreme. Give me one more chance, Father. I'll find a way to capture Allura. One chance. Hagar will attend you. Let him dream, Hagar, but prepare the wedding. One chance, when I've tried a thousand times. Allura is always under guard. I've used every low trick known to devils. The princess agrees. She agrees with what? She wishes you to wed the one you love, sire. That's very generous. I wish she could tell me how. Place it in my hands, sire. There is a way, but there is also a price. Thank you for caring. <laughs> <laughs> Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe. What is your price, Hagar? To bring you Allura, I demand a position of power. I must share the throne. The wish will be granted if you succeed. I want Allura to come willingly. That's the problem. She lives in terror of my father. Will she ever accept him? Never! Look, her dream! I am Zarkon, your master, Obey. No, please. We of Eris wish only to live in peace. Woman, you dare lift your voice to me? I speak for everyone. Please leave our planet. This is Allura's nightmare. That dream will not go away. Then how do you propose to bring her here against her will, you old witch? By dark sorcery. Ah, yes. I'm not surprised, but I don't want her harmed by you. Foolish young prince, don't threaten ancient Hagar. I know my craft. 
Then do it. Mix your evil magic. No flame of deepest sleep. Burn bright tonight. Burn bright. Temper the blade whose painless bite imparts the trance of sleep. The painless blade that induces sleep. This magic blade will do your bidding, sire. No, it's sharp, Hagar. <laughs> it is painless, timid fool. And not for you to use. My blue pussycat will use it. <laughs> she looks so alive, doesn't she? She's beautiful. You're sure everyone will think she's dead? Everyone but you and me. You know, Corin, we're lucky to have a princess who's so popular with all the people. Indeed. She's a solid young woman, smart, attractive, self-giving. <laughs> Beat ya. Out of my way! For Princess! Son, I know. Somebody do something. She want to hurt the princess. She stopped breathing. Help her. Oh, my darling Allura. No! <gasps> She's gone. <sighs> Strange. Hagar acts on orders from Lotor. And Lotor would never want to see the princess harmed. She's not gone. She's in a spell put on her by that old witch, Hagar. Sure, that's gotta be it, Keith. At the funeral, Lotor snatches her. And Hagar revives her. How are we gonna stop that one? Just wait for the spell to wear off. Hey, we don't know what kind of heavy magic Hagar laid on her. I say, fake a funeral and wait for Lotor to come grab her. That's actually brilliant, hunk. Just off the top of my head. But Lotor may be watching us. We all gotta act sad. We'll have to do a great acting job at the funeral to fool Lotor and the old witch. Better, eh, Hagar? 
Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, Defender of the Universe. We should gather here with a feeling of elation rather than sorrow. We have been privileged to know and love a very remarkable and compassionate young woman, Allura, Crown Princess of Eris. If the princess were really gone, what a lot we'd have to remember. The way her smile lit up the day for everybody. And when we first came here, she gave us permission to restore Voltron so we could defend this planet and this galaxy against injustice and oppression. It was a great honor to kneel before her and the shield of her high office. Her eyes were warm and friendly. Allura became one of us, pilot of the Blue Lion, a member of the Voltron Force. And she wasn't afraid of anything, always ready for more. Allura was cautious, concerned for others. She handled defense duties, along with affairs of state, in a manner all of us can be proud of. Allura took everyone's problems to heart and had a special concern for children. She would speak in defense of troubled persons, her compassion showing. Allura liked being in the thick of it. Idleness bored her like gossip, but music and dancing brought out a lighter streak, which she shared with her tiny friends. The mice knew more palace secrets than the prime minister. So we say goodbye to the beautiful princess. At least that's what we'll let Lotor think. I couldn't ever believe she's gone. We gotta find that old witch. If Hagar could put her in this spell, she can bring her back. It's not the end. Hagar's got something more planned. Oh, princess. <laughs> May she rest in peace. not leaving you, princess. We know you're under a spell. I just wish you'd blink or wiggle your nose. Hagar, your powers are second to no other witch. Don't howl at the moon yet. We must work fast before the trance of sleep wears off. It better not wear off too soon. She's almost mine. This was healthy. The doctor can't explain it. I suspect Lotor and Hagar. So do we. Now, if we can just be quick enough to intercept Lotor. show up soon. Watch it! Hey! It's Hagar! Sorry, lads! No time for autographs! Your magic won't work, old witch! 
It's working out beautifully. She's alive. We figured. Put her down. Never. Quick! I hold another, dear friend. Drop your weapon. They've got us. I'll hold him until you carry the princess to our ships. I wouldn't move if I were you. Pidge! Careful! Put the princess down! You heard me! Her life means more than yours or mine or anybody's! Drop her! I mean business! Move! Time short! This is my magic, old witch! Yours is run out! Put her down, Lotor! It is no use! The fates decree we lose today. There is always a darker tomorrow. <clears throat> now get out. I ought to feed you this. Ah! Pidge, get rid of that grenade. Pidge, for Pete's sake, ditch the grenade. Want to see witchcraft? That did it! The stars were not in our favor, Lotor. Where are you now? Hold it right there, Lotor. <sighs> as you will learn. Blast off! Voltron will be back after these messages. And now, back to Voltron, defender of the universe.
A real one? Hmm. <laughs> I'm greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I will never wed you, Karal. Uh, go home. Someday I'll wed Allura. <laughs> I see her everywhere! I'll find a way to capture Allura! I won't give up!